here we are at uh, the property of uh, Howard and Lachlan to look at uh, the biological farming initiatives that they have started. Yeah, we can look at the soil sample uh, here, just look at some plants and the roots. Area of the paddock. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, this top. Oh, that, uh, yeah. This is, there, this is the, the clay. The clay is not very deep here. <laughs> Far down. Now, now we get, like we see here, the roots. Lots of roots coming out of this at uh, like 15 centimeters. That's always a good sign that the roots are already that deep. Yeah, we see lots of aggregates, like now at like two inches, there's still nice aggregates. Yes. And of course then if we... Yeah, to, to really get the feeling of uh, the soil, how it used to be, you have to go to the other side then, if, if it's still like that. But you, you, like with all the roots that all the roots that go in, we then get the soil to become uh, more aerated and more biology in there does all the tricks. And you notice that with the working, with the sowing operations, etc. Straight away that oh, the soil it, is looser and looser and never came up in any uh, clods. It was very uh, a good tilth. Yeah. But it's only been direct drilled, hasn't it? Like, like that this year, it was direct drilled with knife edge, knife edge points. Knife edge. Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, you know, that's miles better than it was uh, two years ago. Yeah. And also the aggregates around the, the roots and, yeah. and, and the rhizosphere, the, the soil stuck to the root. It's all good examples.